Hey, what's up? Today we're going to build this compost. Uh, it's a tumbler barrel compost. I'm going to show you the step by step on how to put this wood structure together, how to get uh, one of those 55 gallon barrel and how to work on it so that you will have an operating opening and we will also we will also put some uh, some extra piece of pipes inside so that when you tumble your compost everything will move with it uh, so let me walk you through what you will need to execute on this project so the first thing obviously is you're going to need a 55 gallon barrel that's food grade meaning that it hasn't been filled with any sort of chemical I mean, so the next thing you'll need is some wood to build a structure that's going to hold the barrel so i got some pressure treated two by four I bought three of them, eight foot long, and I got Lowe's to cut them in half. The next thing, I got some three inch PVC line. I'm gonna use that, you'll see. Uh, my goal is to cut it in half, and then I will install it as fin inside of the barrel. And then you'll need a lot of different sort of hardware. So let me show you. Um, so first of all, I got a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, screw that, uh, you know, will just uh, screw in with nuts, so I got also some washers. Um, I got several of those latch, those barrel latch. That's what I'm gonna use to close the opening that I'm gonna make in that barrel. Um, I bought some of those screws as well. That's what's gonna hold some of the uh, in between the wood support members. So you'll see when I get to that. I also bought some handles uh, just so that it will help me move the barrel more easily. Uh, and then I bought some hinges, which I'm gonna use to, once I cut the opening in the barrel, I wanna be able to hinge one side of it. Um, as well, I just have a few nails and screws, depending on how we're gonna attach everything together, depending on, yeah, what I decide to do. So now that you have all your equipment, the first step is gonna be to locate where we're gonna put the hatch, uh, which is gonna be the opening. Usually, those barrel, and I would advise you, buy one that doesn't open up. This one is completely sealed. The only opening are those two screwing things. And which is really good because I don't want to have to mess with a top that could potentially fall off eventually. So you can find those with a top that's completely attached. So try to get this kind. So here would be a good, um, uh, a good location to do my opening. So... I'd measure so 34 and a half is the is uh, 34 and a half is the dimension for this. So to make a straight line, I found the best way is to just uh, use a chalk line. So I've already done it, but I'll show you again. So right here, hold it tight. And look at that, really straight mark. So that's actually pretty good. So now that I've placed my two chalk line, I'm going to uh, make my straight line. So I'm just gonna use, I'm gonna hold it with my feet. Huh. We're gonna get started by just uh, drilling holes at the four corners. Okay, so now that we have those four holes done, I just have to cut everything in between. inside still left but yeah here it is now is the time to work on the inside because I want to be able to as I was saying install this to add some fins inside because otherwise if I don't add anything the compost is just gonna stay at the bottom and it's not gonna mix itself so the idea is to cut this in half um, and, and make fins at probably two locations or maybe three and that every time that we roll the, the compost or the barrel, everything, the fin are gonna get engaged and move all the compost inside. So I managed to kind of secure it with clamps on top of my sources. So 
We're about to find out if that's gonna work. Well, it's actually working really well. So let's see, we said that it's gonna need about 27 inches. So let's mark that. Okay, so we're gonna have to do the same cut on the other side. So let me flip it around. I don't think those tools are gonna cut it, so I'm lucky I have a grinder with a, with a cutting wheel. So we're about to, that's the first time I use it, so we're about find out. <laughs> That's not good at all. Shit. Wow. That is terrible. So there you have it. That's exactly what I was talking about. So I wanted two pieces like this. Uh, yeah, I think I might just do two. And we're just gonna screw those in, in place, at different location. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and make some holes so that I can attach it to the barrel. You will have to select the, the actual, the right bits that will match the, the diameter of the screw and uh, nuts that you're gonna use. So I made sure that mine was fitting. So just doing the same thing with the other one. Okay. I'm going to try and match those holes that I just got here. Okay. That'll work. Let me do this. Let's try to keep it as simple as possible. So there's one. There's one. So you will need number 10, 32, um, three quarter of an inch long. And then I just got number 10 washers to go with it. Okay, I'm still here struggling. So I think to help me, I just found this piece of tool. I'm just gonna, I mean, you can either um, drill them again and oversize them. I'm just using this piece of uh, equipment, of tool, to just oversize the hole a tiny bit so that everything will just slide it in and I won't have a problem like I was struggling so much so I'm just gonna oversize them just a bit so this is good on this guy and I'm gonna do the same thing here I'm just gonna oversize that stuff a little bit Yep. So you see, the mistake I made is that obviously the barrel is not straight, and so as you go away from the from the center, you start to uh, you know it's sloping away, and so you see that I'm never going to be able to get everything tight. I mean. Much smaller piece. Let's see. We're getting luck here. So now we should be able to work this much better. Supposedly. Well, it's also. Yeah. Ah, there we go. So we have one in. So I'm going to secure it. Oh wow, look at this. This one was super easy. For a change. I don't know if there's a way for this. Uh, 
So yeah. if your holes are not perfectly aligned, I mean, you saw how fast we did it. It's not perfect. So the solution, we're just gonna drill a new hole. So now we're gonna try and tighten all that stuff a little bit, if possible. So just need to use a screwdriver to hold it in place. Okay, so now everything is tight. So this thing will stay put, which is great. So remember, we had to cut it shorter because of the shape of the of this thing. I wasn't prepared and didn't realize, but now I know. Uh, so then now I'm probably gonna add another two. Now that since they're smaller, I think I'll add another one on the other side and then at the bottom. So I'm just gonna, you know, probably speed this up because now that you understand the logic look at it again uh, you know I have my screw sticking out I put my nut and my washer uh, so then now this uh, piece of PVC is completely secure I'm just gonna do it at, at another two location So we're finally done installing those fins. Uh, it took quite a while. I finally installed all my fins. So I have one, two, and another one here. Now we're ready to work on the on the door opening, uh, this little latch. So now that's why, so we had cut it originally and now I'm ready to install all sorts of uh, mechanism or outwear that I got to uh, put this together. The goal is that you will be able to open it and then uh, have a way to close it on, on the sides. I'm gonna install three pieces. So step number one, I'm uh, going to just, you're gonna put it halfway and then we're just gonna mock up where the holes are gonna go. The next step is going to be to make holes at those locations. It looks like the holes, my outdoor is going to be, so I'm going to have to redrill. Hopefully, I can do that. Yeah, I'm going to have to extend the holes on my outdoor. Okay, the next step is to tighten everything. There it is. So here's my my mechanism. The next step is going to be to install the latch mechanism. Uh, again, I'm going to place them around the edges here and that will allow me to completely block this off. Uh, so I'm just going to install the ends right now and then this piece will go on the barrel and that's how we'll lock it. And I'm going to put one, two, three, four of them. So we're just going to have to like drill holes and uh, install the hardware as we've been doing so far. Okay, so here's one, very simple. 
So now um, the the door is pretty much done. I have all the latch mechanism. I have all my hinges, and now the rest is really to go work on the barrel and install the hinges on the barrel and the second pound of the of the latches. So let's do that. So it fits nicely where I cut it originally. And now all I have to do left is uh, install all those latch mechanism and attach the hinges properly so that I will be able to uh, open it up and, uh, and close it. So it's now time to install the handles. Um, the handles that I got, those ones, came from came with pretty long screws. So the only way to make it fit would be either to add blocking, but I don't really want to add blocking because if it's wood, it might rot. So I'm just gonna be, you know, a little silly, and then just add as many uh, as many washer as I need uh, to bridge the gap. Which it sounds like it might be. Uh, I don't know, maybe eight of them. Probably the easiest way to deal with it. Okay, so here's one angle. I'm pretty pleased with the result now. As you can see, I've uh, reinstalled the latch, and so here is uh, it works. So I have all my hinges, and I put all my latch mechanism. And you see, if I wanted to close it, I can just easily. Well, it's probably not that easy with one hand, but you get the idea. You can lock all those. Now I'm working on the rod that's going to go through it. Um, so I just have to measure, let's see what diameter this thing is. So it's an inch, apparently. Oh, along this line. Okay. One inch hole. Yep. Just have to run this through. There we go. So we're not working on the on the structure uh, again. We got just a few. I have uh, six pieces of four foot of uh, three, two by four, and I'm kind of playing around. Oh, I'm gonna do it. I mean, I'm laying it down now, but I, I really want to just have it. You know, two pieces that way, and then this will eventually just sit here in between. So I'm just gonna try by just nailing it. <clears throat> and then we wanna connect those pieces nicely at the bottom. Okay, I didn't get the chance to finish yesterday night, so we're gonna get back uh, into it. So last time I put the structure together, it's definitely not sturdy enough, but I wanted to have an idea of everything was gonna hold together. So now what I would do is, so yeah, everything can move, pretty much the structure is not super uh, sturdy. So I just wanted to check, you know, I would advise you to check that, see, so. It is pretty level, so we're good to go. If not, you could probably act on those pieces and make sure that everything is level. I'm also making sure that I have enough uh, clearance on both sides. And you see that my rod is really just right out of the way. So if you had the opportunity or the chance, I would get a, a bigger rod so that it would stick out. You know, if it was another inch, you know, it wouldn't be bad. But anyway, I'm probably gonna screw it in, in the wood, so. Um, it will be what it will be. So now what we're going to do is really add a lot of fastener to uh, to make this thing a little bit sturdier. And also I realized that the 3 2 by 4 was not going to be enough. So I went ahead and buy some uh, pressure treated, I think is, I don't know, probably a 1 by 4 or something. Uh, it's much cheaper than 2 by 4 and we're just going to, we're just going to add it. Uh, I'm just going to add pieces probably at this location and in between to really make this thing stiff.
Okay, so looking much better. So now I want to. I'm going to reinforce this connection here because they're pretty. They're pretty. Pretty weak, and so that's why I bought those. Um, I bought those. I was uh, the goal was to have a hole through them and add uh, a few of those to really uh, put it together really nicely. So to install those in place, I'm going to remove. So I'm going ahead and I'm going to drill uh, a 516 hole for this to uh, fit through. As mentioned, I want to overbore the hole so that I can completely I can completely hide this. Let me show you where I'm at with that structure. So I added uh, some through bolt, which I'll attach on the other side. I also drilled additional screws. I really want to make this uh, connection strong. You can see I inset my, uh, my bolt in it so that it will be flush. I also make sure that I screw everything. And I mean, you can see now I'm pushing this thing. It's really not moving much. I have additional wood, so to be overkill, I'm gonna add. Um, I'm gonna add some braces here. This the idea is to use all that wood that I'm not gonna do anything else with, and just create a little knee brace here to really prevent it from spreading. Even though it probably won't, but you know, whatever. I have extra wood, so I can do it. So something like that. Same thing on the other side. Yes, yeah, so you remember I was telling you to get a rod that's at least, I would say probably 55 inches or something. Uh, well, I discovered that this one actually that I got at the resale is some sort of like old, I guess, uh, curtain rod or something. It's pretty strong, but anyway, it has the possibility to extend, which is going to make my life much easier. I'm going to drill a hole here so that there'll be something preventing it from moving just because in Anyway, so that'll just be an added security to prevent it from like sliding out. So we're pretty much done. Look at this. So the last thing is I want to add extra holes uh, because you know for compost you want to make sure that there is enough air getting into it. Uh, but other than that, I'm probably also going to paint this do that outside to so just add a, a layer of protection to make sure the wood is not going to you know rot even though it's pressure treated. So here we are outside. This is where I'm going to set up my uh, compost right by my house. So I wanted to find somewhere flat where I could uh, set the structure. So as I was mentioning, I'm going to paint it with this. I don't know if you can see. This is just some uh, deck paint that will make sure that I think it will extend the life of this wood even though make sure to get pressure treated but I still want to paint it and it'll look a little bit better and it'll protect it. I'll probably do two layers and then once I'm done with that then uh, we'll be ready to put the barrel back on and we should be good to go. So there is one layer, so you get the idea. I'm probably gonna go let it dry and I'll do another layer right after. Yeah, there you have it. How cool is that? So there you have it. It's uh, all done, ready to go. So I'm gonna use it for the first time. Easy opening though. I have here some, uh, some compost. Old banana peel. Uh, I mean, all sorts of vegetables and, and scrap that we have. And so, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, 